Where is kidney located? Retroperitoneally high up on posterior abdominal wall on either side of vertebral column. What are the relations of kidneys? Right kidney is anteriorly related to liver, second part of the duodenum, ascending colon, and right colic fracture. Left kidney is anteriorly related to spleen, stomach, descending colon, right colic fracture, pancreas, and its vessels. Both kidneys are posteriorly related to quadratus lumborum, psoas, transversus abdominis muscles. Subcostal nerve, iliohypogastric nerve, ilioinguinal nerve, and 12th rib. Suprarenal glands lie against superomedial surface of the kidney. What is more lower, right kidney or left kidney? Right kidney. Take 11th and 12th ribs and show me their features. This is the 11th rib. It has uh, a slight angle and a shallow subcostal groove. Here is a shallow subcostal groove. But uh, it has uh, only one uh, articular facet in the uh, head and no tubercles. And it is also a short one. It can be differentiated from the 10th uh, rib, which is also a typical rib by uh, having no tubercles. Having no tubercle. Tenth rib has a tubercle. This is the twelfth rib because it has no angle and it has no subcostal groove and it is short. It has only one uh, articular facet in the head and it has no tubercle. Can you explain the blood supply to the kidney? Arterial supply is from renal artery which arise directly from aorta. Each renal artery divides into five segmental arteries at the renal hilum and distributed to different segments of the kidney as segmental arteries. Then divide into lobar arteries for each renal pyramid. Then gives interlobar arteries which gives off arcuate arteries at the junction of cortex and medulla. Arcuate arteries give off several interlobular arteries, then afferent arterioles arise from interlobular arteries. The renal vein emerges from the hilum in front of the renal artery and drains into inferior vena cava. What is the clinical importance of segmental blood supply? It is useful to control hemorrhage in partial resection or transplantation procedures. Tell me another organ which has segmental blood supply. Spinal cord. What about the renal veins? Are they similar in both sides? No. Left renal vein is three times longer than right renal vein. It also receives tributaries from left ovary or testis, left suprarenal gland and left portion of the diaphragm. Tell me the pathway of ureter. It begins as a continuation of renal pelvis. It descends almost vertically in front of the lumbar transverse processes lying on the edge of psoas major. At the pelvic brim, it crosses the origin of external iliac artery and enters the lesser pelvis. Then, it runs on lateral wall of the pelvis in front of internal iliac artery and passes obliquely through bladder wall in inferomedial direction. What are the important relations you can see near its termination of a male? It lies above seminal vesicles and it is crossed superficially by vast difference. What is the importance of that obliquity? It prevents urinary reflux from the bladder. Tell me the arterial supply of the ureter in one sentence. It receives arterial supply from all available arteries along its course. 
tell me three sites where ureteric calculus is likely to lodge. At the junction of renal pelvis with ureter, at pelvic brim, at ureteric orifice. What is the germ layer which give rise to kidney and ureter? Mesoderm. What are the developmental abnormalities of kidney? Pelvic kidney, horseshoe kidney, congenital polycystic kidney. What are the parts of male urethra? Prostatic urethra, membranous urethra and spongy urethra. What are the sphincters of male urethra and where are they situated? Internal urethral sphincter is situated around the proximal end of urethra at the neck of the bladder. External sphincter is situated just inferior to the bladder.